15, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10 mm. With the completion of the longitudinal shifting of the steel box girders into the final position, a new milestone will be set at the beginning of October 2021, marking the beginning of the next construction phase, the completion of the superstructure. As the temporary factory hall is no longer needed, the removal of the assembly hall is started immediately. The auxiliary spans are also no longer required, so the auxiliary construction is applied with the mobile crane. Before the steel box girders are connected to each other by the deck, the steel construction is precisely adjusted in position and height. Then the spherical bearings are installed. Spherical bearings ensure controlled load transfer between the superstructure and the substructure. In addition, they allow all-round tilting movements and displacements of the superstructure and are designed to introduce high forces into the substructure and absorb rotations via a movable spherical cap and a concave-shaped bearing base. After relocating the bridge, the remaining auxiliary substructures are no longer needed. Therefore, the remaining auxiliary structures will be dismantled and removed from the foreland of the Rhine. Afterwards, the construction of the concrete carriageway slab can be started. A 100-ton composite formwork carriage, a mobile formwork unit with a length of approximately 25 meters, is used to produce the concrete carriageway slab. For this purpose, several parts of the composite formwork carriage weighing up to 16 tons will be pre-assembled in the foreland of the Rhine and lifted into place at the end of October. The first concreting of the carriageway slab will already start at the beginning of December 2021. In order not to jeopardize the ambitious construction schedule, the construction of the carriageway slab is taking place in what is actually an unfavorable winter period. Snowfall and temperatures below zero degrees Celsius pose special challenges for the construction companies. The lower the temperature of the concrete, the slower it hardens. At temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, the concrete can freeze. Various measures must therefore be taken for the production and placement of concrete at low temperatures. The carriageway slab is being constructed section by section in a total of 15 concreting sections using the so-called pilgrim step method. This means that work is carried out in forward and backward movements. This construction sequence minimizes tensile stresses in the concrete and thus the risk of cracks forming. The concreting sequence is precisely specified by the structural engineer. The field areas are constructed first, followed by the support areas for the piers and abutments. The final concreting of the carriageway slab will take place in April 2022. However, the bridge is not yet sufficiently load-bearing. The architecturally designed steel pylons, which have a height of approximately 12 meters and form the visual centerpiece of the structure with the 20 stay cables of the span, are still missing. In mid-April 2022, 
pylons with a unit weight of 60 tons will be transported to the construction site and then lifted into place and assembled using a heavy mobile crane. As the pylons are only connected to the superstructure via an articulated bearing, the pylons have to be precisely adjusted triaxially via three auxiliary struts. As the pylons are only held in place by the cable tensioning, the components must first be supported with an auxiliary construction. The smallest deviation must be avoided during the setting up process. Therefore, the critical assembly process is closely monitored by surveillance. Immediately afterwards, the assembly of the ropes is tackled. Each rope package consists of seven strand high tensile stay cables, which are bundled into a rope package of up to 99 strands. The time consuming tensioning process is carried out according to a complex tensioning sequence in which strand is installed strand by strand. All strands are pre-stressed in several tensioning stages simultaneously at both anchorage points on the underside of the bridge. A total pre-stressing force of up to 900 tons is applied to each rope package. Between May and July 2022, 120 tons of steel strands with a total strand length of 100 km will be installed. Due to the proximity to the roadway, a fire protection system is required along the entire length of the cable. In the area of the free rope length, a system is therefore provided which ensures that the temperature within the pre-stressing steel strands does not exceed 300 degrees Celsius for a period of at least 30 minutes and thus does not permanently impair the load-bearing capacity of the strands. The entire assembly process is continuously monitored geometrically by the surveyor and continuously compared with the assembly calculation as well as the target heights in the final state and the clamping process is adjusted if necessary. After completion of the tensioning process, the anchorages in the pylon and in the solid anchor blocks are grouted with a liquid made of epoxy resin so that corrosion protection is ensured. The fixed point of the entire bridge is located at the western abutment. This makes it possible to design this abutment as a rigid frame corner and, in particular, to transfer longitudinal forces and uplift forces monolithically from the superstructure to the substructure. Due to the edge field stiffened by the span, bearings and roadway transitions can be dispensed with here. The abutment on the other side absorbs all longitudinal expansions of the bridge with a total expansion distance of up to 36 cm. Due to the choice of the bridge construction, the number of roadway crossings was reduced to one. To protect the load-bearing structure from water penetration, the deck must be protected by means of a waterproofing membrane. After appropriate substrate preparation, a primer of epoxy liquid resin is applied to the pole. Then the construction of the edge trim is started. A formwork carriage will again be used for this. 
After the assembly of the mobile formwork construction, which is mounted suspended from the cantilevered carriageway slab, the construction of the up to 8 meters wide edge strips will begin as early as mid-August 2022. The edge beams will be constructed in sections in a total of 28 concreting sections. The new Rhine Bridge, a four-span steel composite bridge with a dissolved cable structure, has three new piers, of which two of the pylons support the cable structure. The structure, a four-span girder, has spans of 50 meters, 125 meters, 50 meters and 30.6 meters. This results in a total span of 255.60 meters. The width of the bridge is 24.37 meters. Finally, the top coat is applied to the steel box girders. For this purpose, the entire steel structure is cleaned of dust and dirt using high pressure water. Then the grey top coat, a two component high solid polyurethane top coat with micaceous iron ore, is applied. The fast and low temperature curing two component high solid polyurethane deck coating is applied by spraying. After completion of the concreting work on the edge beams, the already prefabricated bridge railing and guard rails will be installed. After the installation of the asphalt layers, the bridge can be handed over to traffic in November 2022, just two years after the start of construction. The goals set by the client, such as the production of the construction work in the required quality and the timely completion, resulted in an ambitious construction schedule. The completion of the project on time and to the required quality standards was only possible because all project participants worked together towards the common goal in a professional and collegial manner. The difficult circumstances, such as the unfavorable subsoil properties, the construction in the danger zone of the Rhine and the supply difficulties associated with the corona pandemic, presented additional challenges for the construction work. All those involved met these challenges with professional work preparation and a high level of commitment. 